Jeff Koinange is a Kenyan Emmy and Peabody award-winning journalist, broadcaster, television news anchor, radio presenter as well as an author. Jeff is a great negotiator, a skilled motivator, excellent showman and gifted presenter. Jeff Mora Koinange was born on 7th January 1966 in Kiamba village in Kiambu County. He was born to Frederick Mbiyu Koinange and Hilda Wamboi Ngoima. His father Frederick was among the sons of the Gikuyu tribe's most famous chief, Senior Chief Koinange Wambiyu. Frederick's mother was the third wife of the chief who married six wives. On the other hand, Jeff's mother, Hilda, was the child of a rich and progressive farmer, Maura Wangoima from Gidiga village in Gidunguri. In addition to being the grandson of the famous Senior Gikuyu chief Koinange, Jeff is also a nephew to Peter Mbiyu Koinange, who was exiled in Britain after the state of emergency was declared. Remember that Peter Mbiyu Koinange was the first Kenyan to obtain a master's degree. He acquired the master's degree at Columbia University in New York. Jeff Koinange first went to Hospital Hill School in Parklands from 1972 to 1974. In 1975, he changed schools and went to St. Mary's where he did his A-levels in 1984. Jeff joined Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn, New York where he studied broadcast technology and management. He graduated top of his class and got a scholarship to study at the prestigious New York University. He graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Broadcast Journalism in 1991. After high school in St. Mary's, Jeff was recruited as a flight attendant for Pan AM World Airways in 1986. It was while he was there, flying the friendly skis for a year and a half, that he discovered his communication talent. When he did the announcements on the plane, passengers applauded every time saying they loved his voice, as well as how he did the announcements. At this point, he quit the airline and joined journalism classes in Kingsborough and later New York University. In 1995, Jeff Koinange joined KTN as a part-time news anchor, as well as writer's correspondent in Nairobi. As a news anchor in KTN, some people did not like his American accent, but others liked it. In 1998, Jeff Koinange was appointed writer's West Africa bureau chief, located in Ivory Coast, but later relocated to Johannesburg, South Africa. Jeff Koinange's big career came in July 2001 when CNN was shopping for a bureau chief for their office in Lagos, Nigeria. He took the position and worked for CNN in Lagos and Johannesburg, South Africa for six years where he served as a senior African correspondent until May 2007. In November 2007, Jeff Koinange joined K24 TV until December 2012. Here he hosted a popular show called On the Bench. From January 2013 to August 2013, he joined Arise Television in Johannesburg back South Africa and after eight months in September 2013 he returned back to Kenya to become the East Africa bureau chief a position he still holds till to date also from September 2013 he hosted the popular talk show host Jeff Koinange live on KTN Wednesday and Thursdays from 10 p.m. on 1st March 2017 Jeff Koinange premiered his first show dubbed JKL on series and TV at 9 p.m. most producers at the Royal Media Services station feared after Jeff Koinange joined series and TV Koinange was seen to espouse a tough demeanor that made the producers at the station question whether they could handle him on screen. Monica Kiragu, the producer behind the JK Live at Citizen TV, once revealed that she was challenged by her team members to take the bull by the horns because at the time she appeared capable of catapulting Koinange's show to become the rating juggernaut it is. Monica further divulged that Koinange at that time was a big name in the industry, so people feared working with him. He had moved from KTN and his show at the Mombasa Road Base Station was one of the highest grossing at the time. I know most of you might ask who the indomitable Monica Kirago that has made JK Live one of the most watched TV shows in the country. Monica Kiragu is basically a media industry veteran, having launched her career at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation KBC in 2002 before moving to Citizen TV in 2012. She worked at KBC for 10 years and rose through the ranks to become the head of news production. At Citizen TV, Monica is the head of directors. Perseverance is the hallmark of Jeff Koinange's career. Impartiality and level-headedness is what makes the audience truly sit back. Through many memorable interviews to his jaunty refrain, all Kenyan, all time. Jeff makes interviewing look effortless, but the subject is always treated with integrity and credibility. He is the first black African journalist to be prominently featured on international network television at CNN. Jeff cemented his reputation as one of the most accomplished journalists of our time. Most people try to fit Jeff into molds, but rarely succeed in capturing his essence. Jeff's genius for reporting and keen understanding of his subjects overshadow all his flaws, making him one of the most successful reporters to originate from Africa. At CNN, Jeff partnered with Anderson Cooper to cover the famine in Niger, which was one of the most devastating famines in West Africa. Their series titled Starving in Plain Sight highlighted the people's suffering, which drew immediate response from across the globe. 
The Niger people are thus saved from the devastating situation through the series. The series won a TV Emmy and it is considered one of the highlights of Jeff's career. Jeff Koinange's story about a doctor in Bukavu, Eastern Congo, who was helping hundreds of women who had been sexually assaulted, is also considered one of the best moments of his career. A Congolese doctor was running a clinic which catered for over 600 women, both young and old, after they were assaulted by uniformed men. His story evoked a strong response from the audience and the victims got the help they required. In 2007, while he was working at CNN, Jeff Koinange reported on the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta. During the report, he was in the presence of the men guerrillas who had captured some Filipinos. This report raised a lot of controversies and there was outcry especially from the Nigerian government which claimed it was staged. CNN and Jeff however denied the claim that they staged the report. 2007 was a controversial year for Jeff Koinange. Shortly after the Niger Delta report, Marianne Brina, a Swiss national, claimed that she had an affair with him. This is believed to be one of the main reasons behind his move from CNN. Although Jeff was the CNN's Africa correspondent, his journalistic reach was influential beyond the continent. In 2005, he was part of CNN's Peabody Award winning team that covered the devastation wrecked on New Orleans by Hurricane Katrina. At the height of a violent civil war that led to the overthrow of Charles Taylor in Liberia, Jeff secured an exclusive interview with the outgoing president. He also covered the inauguration of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in Liberia as first female elected president in Africa. Jeff also did a number of stories such as the arrest and deportation of Charles Taylor, the state of Sudan and the crisis in Darfur with Anderson Cooper, Uganda on the refugees of Sudan's Lord's resistant army, Nigeria extensively, its politics, its economy and its people, and traveled extensively to numerous locations. Mali and drought, Bukavu and the victims of rape, among many other stories. Through My African Eyes is a concise narrative covering some of the major players in 20th century African politics. This is a book Jeff Koenangi wrote. The book is rich with insights into the personal and intellectual underpinnings of many historical events in Africa. The book narrated the chronicles of some pretty interesting African from warlords, soldiers, victims and politicians lent insight into Jeff's celebrated journalistic style. Through My African Eyes is very informative and quite humorous, utilizing a modern, quick, precise narrative style. Jeff Koinange is married to Shaila Koinange, a Kenyan of Asian origin. He prefers to keep his private life away from the public, and very little is known about his wife. Shaila is Jeff's second wife after separating from his first wife from Panama in 1994 due to infidelity. The couple has a young son, Jamal Mbiu Koinange, who was born in 2007 after nine years of his parents' childless marriage. Jeff Koinange is indeed a brilliant, talented, inspirational, and an iconic journalist loved by most Kenyans who never miss out on JK Live every Wednesday on Citizen TV from 9 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our story. Kindly subscribe if you're yet to. Give a like and share with friends and family. Feel free to also drop a comment.